Okay, guys, another wonderful video. <laughs> anyway, anywho, I was watching a video the other night, and uh, well, actually, it was about two and a half, three weeks ago, and it was uh, Cat 45 or 45 Cat. Uh, I know I'm slaughtering his name, I apologize for it, uh, but he's out of Florida. And he's got his little, uh, his little, um, uh, what the heck, Lucy, the dog. And, and uh, he did a video on a flashlight, if I remember correctly. I think it was him. They, he bought one that looks like a, like a baton. Not a baton so much as, uh, it looks like a, uh, a small bat. Uh, for those of you who drive truck, uh, you know, those little bats that they would sell for checking your tires. Uh, it's about the size of that. About the size of this one, just that it had a little more of a bat shape to it than a um, nightstick or a baton shape. And uh, he said he paid something like $28, $30 or whatever, and that was about right. You know, and it, uh, it seemed like a nice light, and he had, uh, at that point, a lot of good remarks on it. I don't know how, uh, how much he'd actually used it, but uh, he was uh, happy with the quality. So uh, a couple days later, I jumped on, or that same night, I jumped on... Uh, Amazon and started looking and I found it on Amazon for $28 and, and plus shipping it was like $30 um, and as I was looking and I ordered that one I seen this one now the one he has uh, it's like I say it's about $30 in the door give or take a buck or two um, I don't remember the name on it nor do I remember the name on this one uh, it came in a plain white box so I'm sure it's on the receipt someplace, but other than that, uh, I believe he said his was like 200 or 250 lumens. Um, it had a low, high, and strobe. Uh, it had the bat look, which was great. And I was thinking, you know, this would be nice for uh, the wife's car or or uh, my truck or whatever the case may be. If the wife wipe, if the wife is out in the yard with the boys, you know. Uh, because regardless if it's winter, summer, snowing, sleeting, regardless, uh, the boys can enter the yard from the house 24-7. They have a dog door. Um, but around 9 o'clock or so, we'll go out with them just to you know, throw the ball or to play with them for a few minutes. Uh, and if I, the, the wife definitely does it faithfully you know, two or three times a night. Uh, however, uh, sometimes I don't really make it out there. But... Where I'm going with this is if the wife's out there at night with the boys, uh, she has something with her like this with a light on it, uh, you know, as well as having it as a defensive piece because we do get, even though our fence, our yard is all fenced in, a uh, chain link, we do have, uh, you know, coyotes and fox and sometimes you'll see a, um, a raccoon, you know, or something like that travel around the fence. Um, you know, and there's a couple of the, uh, the fox, believe it or not, that, that play with the boys. Um, they chase one another up and down the fence line, you know, with the fox being on the outside of the fence. Um, they look healthy enough, so it doesn't bother me at this point. You know, I, I, I maintain, uh, well, not so much maintain their health, but I keep an eye on them to make sure that, you know, the foxes are healthy, because I don't want my dogs, to, you know, to uh, play with them if they're not. But anyway... Uh, you know, this way the wife has some type of a weapon on her. So if they were to jump the fence, which I doubt they will without the dogs chewing them apart, uh, but she does have something that she can use as a weapon to either blind them or hit them with it. So anyway, I ordered that light for her. Needless to say, it's been almost, uh, well, it's been two weeks. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Well, since the guy put the video up. Uh, and I still haven't received it yet, which is strange, because usually Amazon's pretty good at getting things out. But when I was looking, I also seen this one. Now this one's a little bit different as far as the shape. Um, it's got this little bezeled front on it. Now that's sharp enough to where if I was to grab that and, and want to hold on to it while you're trying to pull it from me, uh, I'm going to lose some meat. Because if you pull it, these are sharp enough to where they're going to cut me. And if I actually squeeze on this a little bit here, just for a second, with a light squeeze, 
it'll put marks on my hand. So this is definitely a little on the sharp side for that reason. And naturally the bezel here is sharp as well to where if you really poke uh, somebody with it, you know, bare skin or an animal, uh, as much as I really want to want to, um, you know, uh, they're out there to do what they do, you know, so, um, you know, I, I try not to harm animals, I'm sorry guys, but that's all there is to it, nor do I hunt. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's a good weapon. So I see this one, I said, well, you know, let me grab that one as well. This one works off of AAA batteries, which is right here in the handle, a uh, little packet you put the batteries in. I don't know what the other one works off of. I don't know if it's AAA, AA, or C batteries. I don't know. Uh, because it's the bat type uh, shape, it may work off of uh, maybe a C or a AA to give it some weight. Uh, again, I don't know. But this one here is kind of more as hollow in here. This is just a tube. The light's on the end. There's a wire that comes to the here, and this is where the batteries are. Um, but I see this one, and this was 17 change. You know, so 20 bucks in the door. So 30 bucks for the other one in the door, 20 bucks for this one in the door. This one's 200 on low, 700 on high, and it also has a strobe. Um, you know, this one here is a little bit more of a defensive piece, I would think. Uh, both are going to hurt if you swing at somebody with it or something. This one has a little ring. I don't remember if the other one had the ring on it or not. This one can probably be used as the other one, uh, as a nightstick. Uh, just that this one's a little bit more even, I would think. I don't know. Again, I haven't actually seen the other one in hand yet. Um, you know, uh, law enforcement, I don't think, would actually use this. It may go against what they can carry because of the beveled edge on it. Um, but security, you know, if you're working for uh, in-house security or contract security, uh, and you were to carry a nightstick, uh, this is something you might be able to carry, as well as in your car, you know, for checking tires, a light if you need it, or whatever else you may need it for. So, so anyway, for $18, well, $17.99 plus shipping, it came to 20 bucks in the door, the other one's coming to 30 in the door. So, this one got here first. I actually ordered this one about three or four days after uh, the other one and this one's already here and this came here uh, two days ago so this one here got here in about seven days and the other one is uh, still somewhere yeah I know my money's with them as well uh, but at that point we'll see what happens uh, but guys there you go now again I couldn't tell you the name on it but if you went on the uh, Amazon and started looking for uh, a nightstick type flashlight or a baton flashlight or a bat light, something like that. I'm sure uh, both the one that uh, I believe it's Cat 45 or 45 Cat, uh, the one that he bought is going to come up um, as well as I bought it because he was uh, satisfied with the, uh, like I say, the workmanship on it. So I ordered one um, and then I also ordered this one and uh, like I say, for what it is, for $17, it's a great little light. So, alright guys, catch you later.